I'm Joel, animator for Pencilish, and I'm going to show you how to draw Patty the Cat from the Beyond the Last Unicorn television show on YouTube. So, for Patty, I'll start in just very lightly putting a circle in for the head with crosshairs. You almost always want to do this when drawing characters, even if their heads aren't exactly shaped that way, just to sort of figure out what direction their head is. Um, and right in the middle of the crosshairs, I'm going to put a little teeny tiny semicircle for her nose. Then she has these almond shaped eyes that are set kind of far apart. Well, maybe not that far apart. I'll draw it a little closer. There. Put in some eyelashes here. She has these long pupils, kind of slit shaped almost, like ovals. Um, then I'll go ahead and put in the her head shape. I think it's kind of like a round trapezoid almost. And she has these round, semicircular ears on the top. And her eyebrows, they're super stubby and round. Then her mouth, she's got this little line under her nose and then two long curves for the little smirk. She has this furry chin, two whiskers on each side of her face. And then her face has these kind of wings for these uh, tufts of hair. On the sides of her face she has three tufts. Little tuft, big tuft, medium tuft. Face. Do a little curved line for the collar and a circle. Then Patty's a pretty big cat. She has a pretty large body in comparison to her head. Uh, I'll put in the front part of her torso first. It's a little taller than her head. I'm just gonna very lightly put the shape in. And her body is about twice as wide as her head from this angle. So she's not a fit kitty. Put a little heart shape here. She has this little uh, tuft on the front. So I'll put little hair shapes on the outline there. putting her paws in. She has these cute little like baguette shaped paws. Like she's always walking on her tiptoes, which cats do by the way. Those paws are actually toes. Their heels are sticking way up. But with Patty it looks even more that way. Her back legs are a little different. She's got a bit of a knee here. And the back of her foot sort of dips in here. Draw the other foot. And then she's got this really massive tail. I think it's even bigger than her head. But it's very thick. It can be whatever shape you want, but generally you want to draw it in sort of an S shape. Make sure to draw these little tufts underneath. I'm gonna darken some of the lines here. And I think that's pretty much it. There you go. Patty the cat.
If you like what you just saw, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, Pencilish Studios.